Hey, what is going on everyone? My name is Eric Stewart from Bad Rhino Digital Marketing and I am super excited today to walk through one of my brands, one of the brands that we started in-house at Bad Rhino and that is called Fishing Fanatics. So like I said, Fishing Fanatics was grown underneath the Bad Rhino umbrella and we basically use it as a test to test out a bunch of digital marketing strategies in the outdoor industry, see what works, see what really doesn't work, and then relay the message to you on videos like this to give you some feedback. So let's, at the very beginning, let's walk over the challenges we faced and some strategies to combat those challenges. So first things first, when you start up any brand, starting from the ground up is always going to be one of those challenges. And also what we've seen with a lot of people in our case too, was not having that original piece of content, or original graphics or content that we could really push out there. Um, and then the last thing there is for challenges is no previous community growth. So what we had to do was, one, test a bunch of different content categories, which we'll talk about in the next couple of slides here, but then also grow our community so it's tightly targeted to people that are really into fishing, both men and women. So let's go over the content strategy and examples here. Now, as you can see here, consistency was key for us. As you can see, our content calendar below, we were posting about two times a day on each platform just to test out, see what works, see what doesn't. What we ended up seeing working was curated and curated memes. Um, that engaged our target audience and then also along with that these engaging questions examples and then what I want to talk about in this next slide here is probably one of my most favorite uh, content categories that we've ever developed here at Bad Rhino and that is called the best fishing video se series so everyone always asks us you know how do I produce content on TikTok how do I get consistent flow on TikTok well the key is to make content that's easily duplicated so as you can see right here there is a picture of my beautiful face up on the screen there. But this real, this TikTok ended up getting 1.7 million views. And the big question is, okay, how do I go viral? How do I do this? Well, you got to post easy content like this. And what we did here, as we see in IG Reels example, is we fronted the video with my face saying the absolute best fishing videos and pointed to the top of the screen. What this allowed us to do was change the text in the actual video to part whatever. So you can see this is part six. And then we would be able to back end it with a viral video that already went viral on TikTok or YouTube, and we just gave them credit. So as you can see here, just another TikTok example got 545,000 views, but super easily duplicated. Good idea. You might want to incorporate in your brands too. So let's talk about the fishing meme culture here. This is a curated piece of content. This is one that we schedule out in advance for months and months at a time, but this post actually ended up getting 40 uh, 94 shares, which is really cool to see our community just engaging in content like this, where it's really easy to push out. And then our engaging questions example, this is a content category that we tested on a bunch of different platforms. Uh, we have duck hunting fanatics, golfing fanatics, and now it's ended up working on fishing fanatics too, where you just simply ask your audience a question on Facebook, kind of like that old style of Twitter question, where you just give them a question and they answer it. As you can see here, it got 87 comments and we can even look at this next example and you see that the really quality comments of people actually telling a story. If you look over to the right, you can see, you know, two people right there at the top talking about how they caught their first muskie or their first muskie ink tournament. So now let's go on to how we actually grew the communities. Now, TikTok was a little bit different, but let's focus on Facebook first. So we use growth ads basically, and we got this down to eight cents per like, and they were really focused on people that were into fishing and engaged in fishing content. Now we separated into two slides. Now this slide right here is showing a freshwater fishing example, which really focused on people that were in the freshwater, and it got eight cents per like. And then this is a saltwater example, which got nine cents per like. So both of these campaigns and ad sets did really well for us. As we look at the total results here on Facebook, you can see that we got 10,895 followers, which is awesome over that short time frame. And then also on TikTok, like I said, we did this straight organic. So we got 17,500 followers over that short time frame. Also, you can see some of our other stats below. So now let me just wrap it up here with who is Bad Rhino. Bad Rhino is a digital marketing agency uh, located in Westchester, PA. We were founded in 2011. And like I said before, Fishing Fanatics is actually a brand that we developed underneath Bad Rhino to test out a bunch of digi different digital marketing strategies. So if you want to talk about Bad Rhino as an agency or you want to talk about Fishing Fanatics and maybe how you can advertise on Fishing Fanatics, feel free to reach out to me at ericstewart at badrhinoinc.com. Also, there's our address too and then our office phone number if you want to give us a call. Thanks so much for watching.